dealer's choice. Truth be told, it's really up to the customer. It does not affect us one way or the other. That being said, I'd say probably about 90% of our customers do lease equipment. Buy or lease makes no difference. It just depends on how you operate your business and how your accountants work for you. The advantage of leasing is you're set up to upgrade. The downside is you're kind of wrapped into a contract. Now, if you purchase a machine, the upside is it's your asset. You can do whatever you please, but you have something where the technology might fall behind and you're kind of stuck with what you have at that point. Leasing would probably be the best choice, but at the end of the day, it's up to the client. So. If you buy new, the advantage is that you have new equipment. Whereas buying older equipment, the shelf life might be shorter. Now, a lot of people are worried about the upfront cost. They tend to kind of even themselves out. New equipment's cheaper to maintain. So I'd say within a couple years, the price of the older equipment kind of levels out with the newer equipment. Certainly uh, from a cost saving, sometimes you get a little more value for a used device, but then from a purchasing new, you're getting the latest and greatest and you know reliability, parts, a lot of those issues may go, will go away. For me, if it was my choice, I would buy a new. I would say it's a matter of how long you need the equipment more than anything else. If you need it for three years, get old equipment. If you need it for five or eight, get new equipment. Depending on what you're looking for, what the customer is using, what they've used before, what their projected output is, once again, we can go new or used. Um, it doesn't really matter to us, it's up to the customer. We get actually asked this a lot. I have a couple clients that are based down in Florida, down in South Carolina. We're able to partner with our manufacturers, so Canon, Konica Minolta, Rico Lanier, for the local service techs in those areas to service equipment. One of our, our clients, they purchased the machines from a vendor in California, we service them for it. It'd be the same situation. We're more than capable of handling that nationwide. We're able to uh, reach out to anyone across the country, provide the same level of service, the same SLAs, really providing that uh, Ford experience no matter where it is. Answer in short, no, location does not affect who we can service. Very. If you want to make a cot for them, some of them may sleep at your location. They're always on site when you need them and they get the job done. What's nice is they start and end their day at home, so they can be on site as early as 7 o'clock sometimes if need be. Every time I call the technicians, they pick up. They're very responsive and it really alleviates problems for the customers. Typically, response time is four hours or less. I know I've had uh, some clients as well that have lead technicians where they actually have their cell phone directly. So for some of the advanced cases where they have to schedule things, they'll call the techs directly, which is nice. Our technicians uh, go above and beyond. because I want to make more money. Um, next question. It's what happens when things go wrong. I can promise you that things will uh, maybe be a little hairy a certain time. It's how we respond. Family owned, uh, leadership's very good. I have customers that are very large on scale and then I have some customers that maybe have one little small printer. Naturally, sometimes situations arise. I've had instances where I can call my president directly and he calls me back within the hour, two hours at most. So that is why I would recommend working with Ford is that family owned atmosphere, really we culture here. It's home, so. Please don't. We don't want you trying to fix it. No, not at all. You will have a service plan or you can reach out to us directly for service should something go wrong. I would say 99% of my customers have service plans with us, so it's already included. So when in doubt, if something happens, give us a call. No, we don't expect you to be experts. Uh, that's our job. Getting our technicians there, you know, other than maybe switching out some toner uh, and loading some paper, it's all up to us. Kind of like trying to fix a vehicle, unless you're familiar with it, you're probably gonna do more damage than you would good. That's what you pay us for, so. Typical structure of the, uh, the lease is on a five year term. You could do three or four years as well. The need to upgrade as it comes up, we can look at each one. That's the answer. Um, Yes, you can upgrade whenever you want to. We have some clients that before that lease is up, whether they're changing the operation, changing what they're doing, sometimes they need to change equipment early, 
once again, having that lease option kind of gives you that flexibility, whether you need to upgrade early, whether you need to let the lease expire, move equipment somewhere else. That's typically why we, we see more customers go with the lease option. Absolutely. You know, business has changed. Nothing has taught us more than that the last 36 months that uh, needs have changed, business practices have changed. It gives you the flexibility to make moves, to pivot, to best fit your current needs and hopefully your needs in the future. Our bread and butter for years, we've been in this business 35 years or so. Start with copiers, in which we do Conica Minolta, Rico, and Canon. We also have access to HP wide formats, Canon wide formats, and Lanier wide formats as well. Anything really digital in your office, scanners, things of that nature, really the last five, six years, big into managed network services, IT services, help desk support. Really, that's kind of where the industry seems to be going as well. We do uh, manage IT services, voice over IPs, document management, cybersecurity. We, we do everything pretty much in the office technology world. We sell everything that isn't bolt, bolted down, so being able to be that, uh, as much as I hate to say, that one-stop shop for our customers. What about that piece of hardware? Name, name a price. <laughs> Certainly, absolutely. I have multiple customers who have the purchase option, they almost always still pay for a service plan. The service plan is completely optional. I do recommend doing it. Should you purchase the machine, you just have a monthly service charge. Typically, toners included. It will give you parts, labor, service calls, pretty much short of taking a baseball bat and smashing it. You get a red light, you give us a call, we're on site within four hours. You know, whatever it may be, uh, you specialize in your services. This is what we specialize in, to making sure that the devices are not inhibiting, they're only improving your work environment.